rolling easy back in the die cast garage back at you okay i got a box in and i got a whole bunch more boxes coming in mail calls this is a mail call video and i do have to uh do all my pickups from the lineville car show but i have one two three that I already opened and we're going to open up this one live so I'll show you one of these first then we'll open this box and then I'll show you another one they're all cool stuff all vintage so if you're into vintage Hot Wheels this is what it's all about um, this one here I open I'm gonna turn this down a little bit you can see I moved the camera because I'm doing all the the work over there and tearing out that wall and I know you guys don't want to look at that mess behind me I don't know if you can zoom in on some of this I do have a, a case coming in or I have three cases coming in but um let's take a look at this real quick I gotta um, move the camera because I did have a comment and they wanted to see some things a little bit closer. And that's not a problem. I can lean over. I'm all the way across the table where my camera is. I picked up this uh, red Diora. It's almost like a rose looking red. But I did not have red. And I snagged this one. It's not horrible. But it's a good filler. So, um, we'll go with that. We will go with that red Dior there. Is that better? I don't know how the lighting is. But, um, yeah. So I got that. I grabbed that. Let's open this box. This came from, um, Matt Cosa. He's with the Redline Oasis, if you don't know him need to look it up I won't explain it to you but let's see I I don't remember exactly what I bought I know one car that I did purchase from him and all the rest are like a bonus to me but there was one car I was after and I hope hopefully um because he had it and I I bought it it was like an online auction type deal and I bought the car and then later up he had another one and it looked like it was in better condition and I was I was kind of like bummed out that I should have waited I didn't know he had another one look how he packs this stuff look at this all sealed up and oh yes Yes, what do we have in this one? Sweet tarts. Sweet tarts. If you look back on my videos, you may have seen I bought from him before. You always get sweet tarts from him. That's a Mr. Matt Man. There's a note in here. Let me pull this out. Oh, no, it's not a note. It's a uh, sticker. Redline Oasis. You can check them out on um, Facebook. And I'll be meeting with a lot of these guys in um, uh, Vegas. When we go to Vegas, they're all going to be there. I'm going to be there. Oh, there's another sweet tart. Okay. We're going to um, open this up a little bit. Oh, I got another. More, more stickers. Look at this. That's how generous they are. One, two, three, and sweet tarts. And I got one, two, three, four cars. Plenty of bubble wrap. All wrapped up real nice. Let's see. That's the car that I was a, um, that I purchased. This one here, and this, and another one okay oh i do have another box i got a box from a, a um 
it's a random act of kindness and this one here the guy oh i don't know his name but he's going to send me an original roof i'll open this first i'll open this first because i'm already talking about it so i bought this Seratney roadster and i know i have one i don't know the condition and this one here is the Sir Rodney Roadster. What was this? 1974. Sir Rodney Roadster Redline. It also came in Blackwall in like I believe 1975, 76. But it's an original roof. But one of the um, one of the ends were broke off and there was a guy in the auction and he offered me a original roof with the with the tab and he's just gonna send it to me free of charge and that is that's killer that's killer I'll mention his name uh, I'll pull it up if I can find it but um there's your uh, original roof I don't know how they tell that they should have numbers on them. It looks like it says number four on it. You can't see it. Not with this lighting. But there you go. Sir Rodney Roadster. Not bad. I think mine's better. But I did um, purchase that. So we will uh, put that over here on the new... New red lines coming in the coming in the uh, eBay store or not eBay store, but um, why do I even say eBay? eBay sucks. I uh, bought this. That's the one I purchased for the collection. Let me see what I got. I don't remember. This is a Ferrari, I believe. Yeah, red Ferrari black plastic base so i must have the one ferrari with a metal base oh yeah i do have the metal base version but this one is not bad is it hong kong i don't know i don't know could be hong kong because it's got the little pops and stuff on it we call it hong kong fooey but nice wheels very nice wheels. Ferrari opening hatch. You can see the nice motor. Nice wheels on this side. It does have the plastic base, not the metal. So that is probably why I was bidding on it. I do have the metal base. And it's not even in this nice condition. It's a pretty nice car. Nice car, and you can feel it. It's really light with the um, with the plastic base. We'll put that there. Let's check out the other one, because I know what this is. But I want to know the condition, and I, I can't remember the interior color. Oh, yeah, this is an upgrade. This I bought as an upgrade. So I was in a, um, a flying, colors, flying colors mode that day, as you can tell. This is your... Um, I believe it's the L Ray Special, is what they call it, in green. Your enamel green, very clean, 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 clean. All nice wheels. All the wheels are nice, very clean. Little rub on the tempo right there, but besides that, a couple pin pricks in the in the front but besides that that car is gorgeous and that is a upgrade in my collection so i bought these this is what started me this was the car i needed and i didn't know i needed it i would have bought it at the convention but i thought i had everything and i looked back and then all of a sudden I did not have a club car, King Cuda. I got the Camaro and the Mustang with different color interiors. 
but I did not have a King Cuda. So now, now I can fill in my um, club car. There were three cars in the club cars. There was a Boss Hoss Mustang, a King Cuda, and a Camaro. And um, they were all spoilers. These were the spoilers. They didn't have hoods. They came like this. This one has the white interior, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think I did. I think I did better. I think the one he sold after. Look at the base on that, because they're chrome. They're it's all chrome. So I think the one after mine that I bid on. I think I did. This is a better deal. Okay, so now I'm happy. Once I seen the other one come up, I was like, man, that one looks so good. But this one is nice. And I will take it. Club car. King Cuda. Going in the collection. I don't know about the decals. I guess they're original. Not sure. They're peeling up really bad. I don't know. I like them without all the decals and stuff. I showed you the Diora. <coughs> Excuse me. And what else came in? Well, I had this in my collection. And I bit on one because the blister was so much cleaner. I thought, oh, I'm going to upgrade my blister. Because as you can see, this one here got damage all up in here. It is unpunched. It's a um, Canadian, or what do you call it, international, maybe. We won't just call it Canadian. International packaging, and it's yellowed. And when I seen this other one came up, this one is made in Malaysia. And I seen one come up, so I snagged on it. And here's what this one is. And... Good thing I got it. Good thing I grabbed it. Because it is also unpunched. But it's a U.S. card. The base is... Well, they're both Malaysia, aren't they? Yeah, they're both Malaysia. One's raised. One's a raised Malaysia. This one's raised and that one's not. But look how clean this one is. Clear. No cracks in the blister at all. And, um, yeah, so for package variation, you can see the top, your international and your U.S. And I'm, I'm going to keep both of these in my collection for my, uh, what are they, 1988, 88, 89 blister cards. There you go. So that's what came in. I got another box that came in, which I'm going to hold. And my next video, if I don't get boxes in tomorrow, which I have one, two, three, I have about four boxes coming in. But before that, I will try and get to the Lineville Car Show score. And I also did score some, um, well, they're down there some uh, race sets, track sets. So um, they're not Hot Wheels, they're slot car, slot car tracks. So I want to do a whole video on those too. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing. Don't forget, stay easy and always keep on turning Hot Wheels.